Hello everyone, what I'm gonna show you how to do is how to automate a notification that you can send to yourself or to a team or channel when something has been triggered. So in this case, I've got a few forms that I use for nominations into our customer community and for new customer journey stories that we share with you all publicly. And so I wanna get a notification from someone when one of those forms is submitted. So I'm gonna show you how to do that really quickly with Power Automate. Ignore what you see on the screen right here. These are my existing Power Automates. I'm gonna show you how to do this from scratch. Really simple and easy. So either go into the Teams App Store down at the bottom left or click on the ellipses here. Type in Power Automate and click on Power Automate. Ignore this first one, not relevant for everyone here. And you're gonna have the personal Power Automate application in Microsoft Teams open up. Go up to the top here and click Create, or you can click New Flow on the, on the top right on the last page. And what you're gonna type in, actually, I've got it right here. One of the popular Teams app templates, notify a team when new forms response is submitted. If you don't see it there, just type in notify a team, hit enter, and this will pop up. So click on the template. You can update the name. So when you go back to your Power Automate, if you ever wanna adjust this, it's easier to find. And it just authenticated me. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna edit this in advanced mode. All right, so as this is loading up, this is pretty cool and easy. Again, it's gonna authenticate me one more time. We'll hit continue. And then the first thing it's gonna ask me to do is to choose the form that I wanna to use to notify me when a response is submitted. So I can click on this, I can click through any one of the Microsoft forms that I have set up. And then from there, this is gonna post your own adaptive card as the flow bot to the channel. And so what I wanna do is change that. So we're gonna add a new action here and we're gonna type in post a message in a chat or channel, okay? So this is gonna be my new, this is the trigger, this is the action. And so we're gonna get rid of the second action because we don't need it now. This is why I went into advanced mode. If you know how to code, the adaptive cards are really cool the way it's set up by default, but this is easier to set up. Okay, so what I'm gonna say is I want this to post as the flow bot. So what this is asking is wh who's gonna post this? So if I was sending this notification to someone else, you could post it as a user so it looks like it's coming from me every single time you send that. And then I wanna post it as a chat with the Flowbot. Again, I can choose a Teams channel of my choice that I have access to, but in this case, I wanna receive the notification. And then the recipient, all you need to do is type in somebody who's got an Azure AD authentication within your organization. So I wanna do this for myself. And then I type the message and I hit save. It is that easy. And then what will happen is every single time a new response is submitted by this form inside of my chat tab, I will get a notification from a flow bot to show me there's been a post. Now I'm gonna pause real quick in this video so I can show you what that looks like. Okay, and so this is what the post that I created looks like. So when I have a new member request for our superheroes customer community, I get a notification from Flow. And what I did is I hyperlinked it to the form. So I get the notification, I click on this, and it takes me straight to the form. I'm not gonna show you that because there's personal information there. Uh, and I can add the person's email address over to my team. Bunch of different ways you could use this. As you can see, incredibly easy to set up. Have fun.